Hey guys, Boba Bricks here with another video, and today I just want to do a quick my thoughts and analysis of the new episode 9 trailer that just dropped, and I have to say, I'm completely blown away from this. I honestly was not expecting much after how disappointing The Last Jedi was in my opinion, but this looks amazing, and hopefully it will be able to redeem The Last Jedi. And one thing that personally ruined The Last Jedi for me so much was Rose Tico, who does not appear in this trailer at all. So, hopefully, that means that they don't even bother with her in this movie and just kind of completely forget she happened. I'm sorry if you're a fan of Rose. I personally am not. I don't want that to change your view on her or anything like that. But that's just my personal opinion. So now, onto the trailer. Starting off, we have Rey in a desert-looking planet. I don't think it's Jakku or Tatooine. I think it's a new planet we don't know anything of. And she's wearing her new white-looking Jedi outfit, which does look very nice. And she's looking off, panting very heavily. And then we hear a voice that sounds much like Luke from The Last Jedi, Jedi saying that we've taught her everything we know and knowledge from a thousands of generations. And then it cuts to... A, tie, a First Order TIE Interceptor coming down very low to the ground on the desert, and Rey ignites her lightsaber and runs and then does a backflip over it, which does look very, very cool. I'm not quite sure what the meaning of this is. And one thing that is very interesting about this clip is Rey, her lightsaber, actually is reconstructed. It's the Luke slash Anakin, originally Anakin's lightsaber, but Disney renamed it Rey's lightsaber, which honestly did bother me a lot. But enough about that. She basically reconstructed it, adding a little black piece in the middle to join the two parts together that her and Kylo Ren had torn apart in The Last Jedi. And then after this, it cuts to a scene of a rocky planet that, in my opinion, looks to be a little bit like... um and the place that they're adding for the Star Wars park, Galaxy's Edge, which is, I believe, the planet Badu. Just something about it looks very familiar to that. And then we see what looks like to be an A-Wing flying towards it. And then after this, we see Kylo Ren running through the woods, slashing someone in black, which I personally believe is one of the Knights of Ren with his lightsaber. He has the First Order Stormtroopers with him, which make it appear that he still is on the dark side, going down that path. And, uh... I'm not sure why he is killing his former apprentices, kind of, unless they decide to um, to turn against him or something like that, or he just decided he didn't like them anymore, something like that. But that um, person who he's killing does strongly resemble one of the Knights of Ren. And then it cuts to a scene of a furry-looking creature fixing light Kylo Ren's disassembled helmet with some sort of material that gives it a red glare which does look pretty cool i'm not quite sure what the significance of that is and then it cuts to a scene of finn and poe standing on a rock planet that looks much like the planet that ray was on the desert kind of i'm not gonna say well i don't know why i said rock planet but basically a sand planet with a cliff and they're standing on that not a whole lot to talk about there and then it cuts to bb8 and it looks like the new droid in the movie which does look fairly interesting i'm not quite sure what importance the droid's gonna play in the movie but we'll see about that and then after that it actually does cut to a clip with the millennium falcon and chewbacca and billy d williams lando which does look very great i'm really looking forward to that one thing i'm not a huge fan of is that lando's actually wearing the same outfit Outfit he was wearing in Solo, which I just don't think is very realistic. I mean, I get that they're trying to merge their two versions of Lando together, but I would just rather him wear something new and different, um, if you know what I mean. And then the Falcon is just soaring through hyperspace, nothing more there. And then it, it's words come that say the saga comes to an end with some speeders rushing through the desert plant with what looks to be like um, jet pack stormtroopers or something jumping out i'm not quite sure how that's gonna work but then we see finn poe and bb8 and c3po on a speeder rushing away from whoever the heck those people are trying to get away i'm not quite sure what that's gonna play in the movie but it looks pretty interesting and then it cuts to a scene of ray or of princess leia holding the medallion that she gave han luke and Chewbacca, but it didn't actually show that in the movie because he didn't want to be shown that, like being shown given the award on stage for some reason. But she's 
I'm looking at, I'm not quite sure what significance that's going to have in the movie. And then we see Rey giving uh, Leia a big hug, much like she has had a loss of someone important into in her life. I'm not quite sure um, what that could be, but it could be someone like Finn, Poe, maybe Lando or Chewie. I'm not quite sure. And then we, it does cut to a scene of them all standing on a different kind of planet that's really cloudy and kind of like a grassland with a good look at Rey. Finn Poe's new outfit with Chewie, BB-8, C-3PO, and that new droid in the back, and they're looking at something, and then it cuts to what it is, and it's the Death Star. I'll, um, this has to be what um, interested me the most, but it looks like the Death Star, or at least a big part of it, has fallen down in the ocean, and they're just staring off at it, and I have to say, that looks pretty amazing. Um, I'm not quite sure how big of a role this is going to play in the movie but I can see this as being the major plot point of the whole movie and then you see a you hear a voiceover of Palpatine laughing which does really make me think that this movie is going to have Palpatine from um there in the before Disney bought Star Wars and made a bunch of stuff uncanon Palpatine actually had made clones of himself that survived the fall from um when Vader threw him down the pit and those clones lived on so they could go that route or they could just have Sidious have survived in that fall like they've done with Darth Maul. So we'll see how they do that. And finally it cuts to the Star Wars logo with the name The Rise of Skywalker. Now this tile I really like. I think that it fits a movie perfectly from at least what it looks like and being the final installment of the Skywalker saga. But it is a little bit disappointing that it's not something that sounds a little bit bigger like Avengers Infinity War or Avengers Endgame that just sounds like this huge finale to the whole trilogy. The, the Rise of Skywalker does sound like a finale to a trilogy, but nothing that just blows you away by the name of it. Most of the fan base could have come up with that name and guessed it if many people didn't already. But still a great name, and this movie I think looks great. I'm really looking forward to it. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm just blown away and cannot wait to see this movie when it comes out this Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Boba Bricks, where I upload minifigure photos and other content every once in a while as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.